Hello there, I am Niklas, the novice retro enthusiast, and welcome to the second episode of trying random games for the TIG-80. Today we're going to try Seapong, Widgemap, OCO, and Andraiser, all of which you can see on the screen right here. So the first thing we're going to try is Widgemap, which is now on our screens. And we have three lives. This is a shoot map where you play Witch killing, well, whatever this is. I'm, I'm actually not entirely sure, are these birds? I suppose they are. Who knows? They look nice though. I also do like how the entire game seems to work with just... I think it's three colors, though I might have not counted correctly. I mean, for three colors, this game's this game diff definitely looks awesome. So yeah, we got hit. Ah, uh, not good. These flying eyes do have a lot of lives. Quite difficult. So yeah, let's not get hit here. And I got hit. Great. Nah. No, not again. Okay, first life gone. But apparently we do have uh, cleared a checkpoint. So... Yeah, come on, die. Thank you. These eyes are definitely making my life quite difficult here. Why do they have so many lives? I don't know. Though a single drop of the bomb, if I can actually hit them, does seem to kill them. Oh, uh, yeah, right. The level does have a boss. Which appears to be the moon. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Just look at that lovely face expression. So, do I have to kill the asteroids surrounding the moon? Or are they just shields? One way or another, I'm just not gonna get hit here, I hope. The hitboxes do appear to be quite forgiving though, so uh, there's that. Though I am almost dead, but so is the moon, I guess. Great. <laughs> I love these animations. Oh look, now we've put a giant hole into the moon. Oh, this, this is just plain unfair right here. I, I cannot move while the enemies can move a lot. Just one heart left. No, just gonna evade those. Um, what is this? Okay, I don't know, I killed it. Uh, they do appear to be some kind of turrets though. Okay, so there you are. No! I hope we cleared some kind of checkpoint here, or we're gonna have to start that entire level again. Nope, just cleared a checkpoint. How lucky I am. Okay, I cannot pass through this glass either, so let's just uh, evade these. Yeah, the controls do feel very, very good, quite snappy. Though I am definitely dying anyway, so <laughs> the controls are not helping me then. Well, actually, they might be helping me, but I'm just not good enough to use them. What is this? I suppose we are now approaching the end boss. Yep. Oh, what is this? Does he have a shield now? He's totally gonna have a shield. Oh, what was that? Oh, they're fighting against the ghost of the moon. The shots are now definitely going faster. This is ooh, quite difficult. Holy shit.
Oh man, hold the tower. So am I actually destroying anything? I don't know, I'm just looking at the bullets. Yeah, I do appear to be killing some of the uh, some of his shields. No! Oh god. Game over. Well, uh, I suppose if you wanna see how the game ends, you're gonna have to beat it yourself. So yeah, let's move on. So next we're gonna try C Pong, which is a circular Pong, I suppose. Uh, we have three modes here, normal, extreme and multi. Let's just do normal for now. And uh, here's the gameplay. And yeah, this, the game does not have any sound, but it is most challenging. No, uh, yeah, well, that, that was quite, kind of obvious, wasn't it? So... Yeah, the, the game's also a bit early already. Uh, in the history of Tig 80. Yeah, 11. Let's let's try this again. Oh, well, yeah, zero points is is a great score. Congratulations. Let's try this and that and here and oh no 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 no. This is almost almost always very very close. Oh God, no. Well, 19. 19, I'm, I guess I'm happy with that. Let's try Extreme then, because I wanna see that chaotic acceleration. What do these uh, blinking points do? I do see that everything is getting a lot faster though, so ah, now I understand why it's extreme. But I do not comprehend why there's that weird point. Oh! I think everything slows down when you throw the giant white ball through these black holes. But I died again, so let's try this once more. Oh god. No. Oh, well, yeah, 15, 15. Let's 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 say 15. But now let's try the multi-mode. It is supposedly twice the fun, so let's see whether or not that's true. Ah, well. Okay. We're gonna have to manage two of these at the same time, and that is <laughs> more difficult than I expected. Yeah, over there, over there. Come on. Wait, they bounce off each other too? I suppose you could do some great trick shots with that. Yep, um, and I'm doing that now. Well, 20. 20 is something, I guess. Though this is not always fair. But if the game was fair, it wouldn't be challenging, wouldn't it? Uh, would it? Okay, I think this is enough. We now know what this game is about, but it is quite well executed, and I do like it a lot. Next up is Armed Racer, uh, with one of the best soundtracks in the entirety of Tig-80. Uh, although quite endless, but definitely great. So let's... Uh, okay, what did I collect there? Um, is this... I, I ju I'll just say th these are gold bars, I guess? I appear to be quite low on fuel though, so let's hope there's some fuel lying somewhere here. Again, the soundtrack of this game is quite badass. Yeah, there's some oil. Yes, I got, I got it. Oh god. I'm not doing well at all. But I am already a kilometer down road, so... Things could be worse. This game is more challenging than I expected. And my fuel is empty, damn it. Let's try this again. Wait, what, what do we have in settings? 
Well, I do want to have music and sound, so let's just get back into the game and do one more try. His golden uh, bar, barrel? I don't know. What, what is this? I'm quite sure that those give me extra points in some way, but I'm not sure. Extra lives, maybe? Who knows? Ooh, okay, so there are oil spots on the on the road and I'm not supposed to hit those. Good to know. Again, what do these golden barrels do? I'm not sure. I do love how the cars look though, so I mean they do look quite realistic, I'm surprised. Surprised? Well no, that's not the correct word, but I like them. <laughs> oh god. Well, Whoa, yeah. Massacre and Boulage. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Uh, okay, next game. And for our last game today, we're gonna have OCO, which is a very old game on the Tech 80. So, basically, all you do here is pop these balloons. Which is quite simple, but uh, more challenging than you'd expect. Come on, no, no, oh god, oh god, oh god, ah, close one. I didn't get that one, but still possible. Yeah, come over here, and then this. So the pre-built high score appears to be 50, let's see if I can beat that. I think this game is made by Twedemar as well, as was uh, Seapong. Oh god. Well, there we go, one life lost. But I've beaten the build in high score at least, so I can't be happy about this. Green balloon, red balloon, oh god, passed by. <laughs> I love the detail on the balloons. Just look at that lovely reflection. Ah. Okay, now we're getting to the point where I don't think this is possible anymore. But it is. 84 points. Green balloon next, then this one. This, nope, there we go. One more passed by. Let's try to beat 100 at least. Uh, well, that's possible at least. Let's go. T let's get to a hunt. Well, I wanted to say 110, but we are not gonna be able to do that. You made a new high school. Wait, there's a two-player mode. Well, I don't have a second player here, so let's not try this. But we're gonna turn up the difficulty too hard, I guess. Not a good idea at all. Yep, come over here. Oh god. Yeah, now this is much more challenging. <laughs> no chance of me getting 104 points in this mode. Yep. Um, and I'm gonna get you too. And you. And I think there's one more gone. And. Well, let's make some predictions here, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna get to 50. Oh, I'm... <laughs> okay, 41 balloons. To hell with it. I guess this is fine. So, uh, this was the last game for today. Uh, and I'm gonna thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing if you want to not miss out on any future episodes of this. And uh, maybe consider liking so that the YouTube algorithm knows that I exist. Thank you, and see you in the next episode.